All right, welcome to another episode of the Software Addiction Show. Today we're going to talk about sub-resource integrity, which is a new HTML feature that lets you check that your scripts you load from an external resource match um, a, sum, uh, a hash sum to make sure they haven't changed. So for example, here if you want to load this uh, jQuery script from the Google CDN, the problem is well, what happens if their CDN gets hacked or what happens if someone's messing with the network and changes the script in flight and I get a different file. Well, Basically if we use the integrity string here we generate a um, SHA-384 sum hash and it checks to make sure that when the file arrives the hash matches. Um, in order to generate these, I've been using srihash.org. And let's see here. Uh, basically, you just put in the path, and then it generates the script tag with the hash, with the integrity hash there. And I think what it's, I'm not sure how it's working, but if it's using JavaScript or if it's going, calling back to the server and doing open SSL, but you can also use this open SSL command here to generate one, which I would recommend doing, because then you know that it's actually correct on your own, because it's coming from your system. Um, so anyway, this is supported by Firefox and Chrome and some of the Android browsers. It's not supported yet by Opera or Safari or Internet Explorer or Edge. I mean, usually I don't like using these types of features if they're not supported by most of the common browsers. But in this case, if you have the integrity uh, attribute here and your browser doesn't support it, it'll just ignore that and you'll be working as if you don't want to check the integrity. So you're in the same boat that you were before where you can just move the hash to your own or the move the file to your own server or not worry about its integrity. But anyway, to get around that, uh, I made a very simple function a load script. What this does is it downloads the file and then it hashes it manually and makes sure it matches. So what we do is we download it using Ajax. Uh, we make sure the status code was successful. Da, 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 da. And then here what we do is we check if the browser actually function or if the browser actually supports sub-resource uh, checking by doing HTML script element dot prototype dot has own property and then we do integrity. So if integrity is there, well we know it is, has that functionality. And if it doesn't, we use the library JS SHA to create a SHA384 hash. And then we we um, base64 it, blah blah blah. We make sure that it matches the integrity string. And if it does we do success, and if it doesn't, we do failure. Uh, and obviously, this is just a simple example. You wouldn't want to actually use this in production like this because there are some, there could potentially be some issues. But if you wanted to do it, here's an example. We have um, what this does right here is it checks if the browser has that functionality, and then it says true. So in, in Internet Explorer, it wouldn't, so it would say false. So if you want to load the script with good integrity, we uh, we try and it works. And then if we have a, the integrity string that doesn't match and we try and load it, it fails. And then if we try the same thing in Chrome, a good good integrity works, bad integrity fails. And then in uh, Internet Explorer, we would have we would expect that. Good integrity works, bad integrity fails. I'm sorry, bad integrity still works. And of course, I'm having some weird issues with the network where even though I have the, the core set up to be anonymous, it's still not working. Let me see here. If I can 
get this to work. Of course, it works when I'm not recording. There we go. Good integrity works. There we go. Bad integrity fails. So that's how we can get around the issue of not having this. Um, but anyway, um, I on a side note, I moved all of our episodes to softwareaddictionshow.com where we have links to everything that we have on um, YouTube and Daily Motion. So you can go here and find everything. So, so even if I have to move it to some other website, it should all be right here. The source code to all these, as usual, it's on GitHub. You can go to um, github.com slash software addiction show to find the source code to everything. And if you find any bugs or if you have any issues or any kind of usability problems or whatever, go here, file a, file a bug or whatever. Anyway, that's been a short episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later.